Hey guys, and welcome to another Technology Guru video. So today, I'm going to show you how to set up your Time Machine, which is an app that is on your Mac natively to back up your system. So uh, in this day and age, if you're not backing up to an external hard drive or jump drive, your files and your pictures, you could lose everything. So Mac Apple makes it very easy with an application that comes on every Mac called Time Machine, and I'm gonna show you how to set that up right now. So let's jump into it. The first thing you need to do is locate the Time Machine settings, which is right here. If you need to know how to get to that, go ahead and open up the um, Apple icon here in the upper left-hand corner and go to System Preferences, or you can go to your dock and you'll see these little gear icons, and that is also System Preferences. Underneath System Preferences, you'll see an icon that says Time Machine. It's a little clock and it's got a little revolving arrow around it. Click on that and that'll bring up your time machine uh, settings and this will be where you start the process. Now, I'm going on the knowledge that you know you have to have an external hard drive. If you need to know some good ones, I'll put the links down below and you need to know how to plug that in. So that's pretty easy, pretty simple. Either it's going to be Firewire, it's going to be USB 3.0 or 2.0. It really doesn't matter. You just need to plug that external hard drive into your machine now. Once you have that plugged in, we can then get started. So now that we have the time machine settings pulled up, first and foremost, you need to turn the thing on. So it's going to be set automatically to off unless you've tinkered with it before and then hit that switch to turn it on. Now, the next thing I want you to do is select the disk. So I want to select the disk. Now I have multiple external hard drives that are off of my Mac Pro. The one that I want to use for my time machine is one that I so rightfully titled the Hoss. Okay, it's a one terabyte drive and I'm gonna select it and you'll see that it's selected because it will be highlighted blue. And then once we do that, we have a few other options. We can encrypt these backups. Encrypting means this will basically password protect it. It will allow another step of protection of your files. I'm not going to encrypt mine. If you want to, you can do that as well. And then we're going to hit this blue button that says use disk. Now, it says, do you wanna stop backing up the Time Machine backup? Now, I already have this backing up to a another external hard drive. So I'm just going to replace it for the purposes of this video. So once we do that, it'll show me that the Haas is now my time machine backup. You'll see a nice little icon now on your hard drive. And then it'll tell you when the next backup is. Now, the time machine keeps hourly backups for the past 24 hours. It daily backups for the past month and weekly backups for all previous months. Now, the oldest backups are deleted when your disk becomes full. So if you have a terabyte or two terabyte disk, it really, you don't have to worry about that. So what I want you to do now, once we have it turned on, you've selected your disk, go to options. Now that we're under options, I want you to see a few things. Under options, we can see the name of the disk. We can also see how much space is provided on that disk that we're using as a time machine backup. Now, also, you want to check this box here. Notify after old backups are deleted. This is just so you know, hey, look, this is for your safety, basically. This isn't for like to offload a bunch of files. This is for you to have in case you delete something accidentally, we can go back on Time Machine and find that file, okay? Because it keeps track of every file, every state that your Mac has ever been in as long as it has enough space on the hard drive. Uh, again, uh, estimated size of full backup would be 201.39 gigabyte, and again, I have way more than that, almost three or four times, so I'm not really worried about it. So we go ahead and we save that now. All right, so once we have all of this set up, we have it on, we've selected our disk, and we understand basically the premise of what it's doing. Okay, so I took a little break here in the video until it started backing up. So obviously every hour on the dot, it will begin to back up all of your data on this disk here. Now, if we look here, you can see now it's in the process of going ahead and uploading all of that data to this external hard drive. That way, when you click on the Time Machine icon here in your dock, you'll be able to backdate and show all of the data as far back to, uh, to the beginning of time in which you turned the Time Machine on. So remember, this is for you to set up to back up every file on your Mac so you'll always be able to access it as long as it's not you know years ago and it's already been deleted. So as soon as it begins to back up, you can see here it begins to back backup and all of those files and all of that data begins to overlap into this time machine drive. So that's basically how that works. 
All right, one more thing I want to show you is what it looks like when you open it up on your computer and you can look for files that way. So the first thing I want to show you is this here. Up in your um, bar now, in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, you're going to see this little icon here, the Time Machine icon. It's going to say either skip this back up, enter Time Machine, or open the preferences. This will tell you if it's backing stuff up, if it's already backed up, how long till the next backup. So you'll have this little nice notifier now once you set up your Time Machine. All right, so now let's jump into it and see what the interface of the Time Machine looks like and how to filter through all of that stuff. All right, so now that it's uploading all of that data, I'm going to show you what it looks like on your Mac when you open up the application and you're looking through the files. Now remember, I'm setting up a new drive, so I'm not going to have a whole ton of files and things like that to filter through. I'm not going to have any really while it's doing it, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. So if we go here, we're able to see we can thumb through all of the different days and weeks right here using these arrows. We can also restore the time machine and create a clean state and remove all of the data and then over here on the right hand side of the screen we see kind of like a timeline uh, option here that'll show you as the days go by every day which a new file has been added it will create a new form of that time machine backup it's amazing it's a great way to keep track of your files and it's a great peace of mind to know hey I have something backing up all of my data all of the time and then we'll click this little button here to go back to the desktop and we are good to go now guys as always don't forget to like this video I have a ton of other Mac videos if you're just now getting started on your Mac go ahead and subscribe to the channel I'm always putting up new content and fun stuff technology wise don't forget to subscribe like I said like the video share it with your friends friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one.